what's going on guys let's look at this problem right here this question is asking a homemade telephoto lens consists of two spherical mirrors the radius of curvature is 2 meter for the primary and 60 centimeter for the secondary how far from the smaller mirror should the detector plane be located if the object is a star what is the effective focal length of the system so here we are trying to find the effective focal length of the system in order to do that we have to know where is the final image is going to be to find the runout we have to know where the first image is going to be to do that we have to know the focal length and also the object distance and object distance we already know they have mentioned that this is a star so this is going to be infinity right and also from the ray diagram you can see that rays are parallel so this is coming from infinity so the object distance is infinity and uh, to find the focal length we had to use this equation f is equal to negative r over 2 because we have the radius of curvature so we can find the focal length from that so this is going to be negative and since the lens is like this I mean this spherical mirror is like this this is going to be negative 200 2 meter that's going to be 200 centimeter 200 centimeter divided by 2 and that's going to give us 100 centimeter okay so this is our focal length and we have the object distance so we can find the image distance using Gaussian relation we can use this formula 1 over SO plus 1 over SI is equal to 1 over F and since the object distance is infinity this is going to become 0 and this is going to be 1 over SI is equal to 1 over F 1 over F and from this one we can see that SI also going to be 100 centimeter so this is the image distance for the first spherical mirror and uh, 100 centimeter and this is going to form right here okay and this is 75 centimeter because 3 by 4 meter it's 75 75 and this is 100 and for the second one it's going to be 75 meet centimeter away like negative 25 right from here to here because behind the behind the spherical mirror so this is going to be or lens it's better to say lens so it's going to be negative 25 because it's behind the lens so negative 25 mean the object distance for the second lens is going to be negative 25 let's say SO2 is equal to negative 25 centimeter and to find the image distance we have to know the focal length for the second lens again for the secondary lens they have given the radius of curvature that's 60 again we can use the same formula that is f is equal to minus r over 2 minus r over 2 and here this radius I mean radius of curvature is 60 so this is going to be negative 60 divided by 2 and that's going to give us negative 30 centimeter and from this one we can find the image distance that's going to be 1 over f is equal to 1 over si plus 1 over so and if you rearrange this one you will get 1 over si is equal to 1 over f minus 1 over so and that's going to be 1 over negative 30 minus 1 over negative 25 and if you simplify this one that's going to give you simplify and find the final answer you will get si is equal to 150 centimeter so 150 centimeter is positive so it means it's going to since the image is right here because the image is 25 here so let's say this is image and uh, 25 here so since we are getting the positive answer it means the image is real real mean this is front side so it's going to form in the back side so it's going to form 150 centimeter 150 centimeter from here to here of from from after the lens right after the lens 150 so this is 75 so for the from the first mirror it's 75 centimeter distance mm -hmm. from the first mirror from the first mirror this from here to here it's 75 centimeter 
right 75 centimeter and from here to here it's 150 centimeter so since we are having the image 75 centimeter from the front lens it means the effective focal length of the system is going to be 75 centimeter and that's going to be the final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching